Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special guest. Say your name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Maddie, and today we're gonna be telling you guys some high school advice using my handy dandy laptop. We've created, oh you can't see it because that was, I don't know why I showed you anyway. Um, we created a little list for you guys, but before we get started, as always, like and subscribe, and let's roll the outro. So we're gonna go freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year, and then we're gonna do kind of like an overall. And if you guys don't know, um, I, Maddie and I just graduated this last well, like a couple months ago. So we feel like we're very qualified to tell you guys about <laughs> feel like we're very qualified to tell you guys about all of this. So I'm gonna be going to Iowa in the fall and Maddie is I'm going to Cornell College. So yeah, so we're gonna tell you guys a little bit about the years of high school, the fun years. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So first year is freshman year. Um so I think we can just take turns like on each one. Okay, so the first thing we have is don't be afraid to talk to new people. And when I say that, I mean, like, like kind of go out there, like, talk to upperclassmen, even though, like, I guess at our school, like, the whole, like, we hate freshmen, like, isn't really a thing. Like, I mean, it's a thing, but, like, not, like, people are going to, like, beat you up, like, some schools mm -hmm. or whatever. So, like, go up and talk to upperclassmen, like, get involved, just do fun things. Um, for the second one, we put learn the, tra like, the road traffic, especially, like, during classes, there's, like, a lot of oh, I'm going to fight to get through this hallway and this one. And you just kind of have to learn how to, like, thrive through that. <laughs> thrive through that. <laughs> Keywords. And but, just, yeah. Yeah, I like at our school, we have, like, the stair system. And, like, you go up one side and you go down the other. And some people, like, confuse it. So, like, I think learning the flow of traffic is really important. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're coming from, like, middle school, which I guess at some schools could be smaller than high school, definitely, like, just know that there's going to be a lot of people. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Um, number three, don't be afraid to ask for help. And this one's really important because your freshman year is when your GPA starts. So make sure that you ask for help when you need it. And you don't, you, you're not dumb if you ask for help. Like, anything to add to that? I never asked for help freshman year. Yeah. And my GPA went to shit. So. Yeah. I spent the next three years of my life rebuilding my GPA after freshman year. Yeah, me too. So definitely <laughs> ask for help. Um. Number four is use your locker. Oh my god, so many freshmen. What is it called? I call it, it's called the freshman pack. Oh my god, where their backpack is stuffed to the brim with all of their textbooks, all of their notebooks, every single thing that they think they need for every single class, except they don't need it for 99% of their classes. Just find your locker, shove it in there, and go to your one class that you need your stuff for. Yeah, I mean, we have, like, five minutes between passing times, and most schools do, I'm pretty sure. So, like, just use your locker. Like, why carry all that around and break your back? Yeah. It's really stupid. Um, number five, this one's very important. Don't fall for senior boys. And I don't know why, but, like, in my class, like, the seniors dating the freshmen was, like, a bigger thing my senior year. And I'm not saying that all the relationships, like, no one come for me, please. But I'm not saying, like, all the relationships were bad. I'm just saying that, like, sometimes, you know, the senior boys want. They just want to get in your pants, yeah. and that's what they want. And then, like, the like the freshman girls fall for them. And, like, it's a thing that happens, mm -hmm. so, like, don't hate on me. It's, like, fine. I dated a senior as a freshman. Worst choice of my life. Don't do it, so. Awful. Um, Anyway, we're going to move on to sophomore year. <laughs> um, so, number one for sophomore year. Oh, wait, no, this is your story. <laughs> you need to do this one. Okay, um, number one for sophomore year, <laughs> you're irrelevant. <laughs> and that sounds very harsh, but you're not an upperclassman. You're not a freshman. So, like, I don't know. Just don't pretend like you're better than the freshman and don't pretend like you're an upperclassman because honestly my sophomore year you're just like in the middle and no one really cares about the sophomores i mean like people care about them but like and not in the high school hierarchy like you're kind of just in the middle and you no one really cares about you 
Just stay in your lane, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> number two goes a lot with number one, and it's like, don't act like you're better than the freshmen, because, I mean, where are you going to get in life at all if you act like you're better than other people? Like, yeah, they're freshmen, and they're like, freshmen, to say the least. But, I mean, what's treating them like crap going to get? Like, where's that going to get you? Literally nowhere. Um, okay. Number three, get involved. Soph- if you haven't gotten involved your freshman year, get involved your sophomore year. Do all the things you want to do uh, because the last thing you want to do is, when we talk about senior year, is regret not doing things. And that was something that I, I did, and I don't recommend you do that. So just get involved. Do whatever you want. And it, you make more friends, and you have more fun. All right. So number four would be, like, this is the point where you want to start to challenge yourself. So you've gotten through freshman year and you've gotten through like all those like little like kind of like general education classes. You take them, you know, they're to start you off and see where you're going. And then you need to like put yourself out there and start taking maybe a couple harder classes to get you ready for those upperclassmen years. Okay, yeah. Um, don't do what I did and take really easy classes until your senior year. Not a good idea. Learn from my mistakes is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Um, okay, so number five is don't let other people's opinions bother you. And this was a really big one for me. I don't know about you, yeah, but, like, sure. I let other people decide what I was going to wear, decide, like, what kind of style, how I was going to act. And it really, like, it takes a toll on you, like, mentally. So just be yourself. And, like, I know, like, high school is, like, really where you find yourself. So mm-hmm. start to figure yourself out because just don't. It, that's not a good time to live when you're just, like, letting other people else, like, dictate you. So now we're moving on to junior year, arguably the worst year of my life. <laughs> um, Maddie, you want to go? For- All right. So the very first thing you got to look out for for junior year is that's like when you're first hitting the, oh my God, I'm going to be an adult soon phase. So you got to start preparing for your future, you know, go check out some colleges and just get ready for life. <laughs> um, along with that, um, ACT is coming up. Don't wait till your senior year to take your ACT unless you're like, I mean, you can like retake it your senior year, but junior <laughs> year, just take it junior year and actually try. Don't go to a party the night before you take your ACT. Um, it's not the best idea, um, but just actually prepare, actually study. I got like a 17 on my ACT. Like I'm not ashamed to say it. And I got into the college I want to go to because like in Iowa, it's all about your like RAI, but I definitely wish I would have done better and tried harder on my ACT because I could have gotten more scholarships. So, just do well on your ACT. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, number three is, like, growing out of your underclassmen phase, kind of like we said with number one, it's, like, this is where you start to, like, grow up. So, I mean, being an underclassman is where you're getting out of, like, your I'm in middle school phase, and then you're getting into your I'm going to be going to college soon phase, and that's... Gotta grow up a little bit. <laughs> and number four is, we kind of already said this, but, like, find yourself. In junior year, you really want to start to find yourself. And, I mean, obviously, like, you can't control, like, when you find yourself. But, like, mm-hmm. I feel like junior year, you really start to figure out what you want because you're looking at colleges and, like, where you want to go and what you do with your life. I'm not going to lie, junior year is really stressful. You take start taking, like, harder classes. I thought junior year was, like, probably, like, the hardest of, like, the classes that I took. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially if you challenge yourself, like we said to do. Um then like junior year is pretty hard but junior year is also fun as long as our next point Mm -hmm. point number five is going to prom this is your first chance to like go to a actually go to prom good high school dance (laughs) don't be like one of those people that like as a freshman and decides they're gonna go to prom with their friends because that's annoying as frick to like all the juniors and seniors just letting you know that um And in most schools, the juniors get to, like, plan and design the prom, so it's a pretty cool thing to, like, be like, this is what my class designed for you guys to have a great time. Yeah, I was class vice president our junior year, and we did Written in the Stars, and it was really cool. I really liked it. Um, So, yeah, go to prom. Just go to prom. (laughs) Overall, just go to prom. (laughs) Don't be one of those kids that just doesn't go to prom because you don't have a date. Go with your friends. Like, I know so so many people that just, I went with my friends my junior year. And my senior year, we went with friends as well, but we also yeah. all had dates, so mm-hmm. just go. Now, senior year. Arguably the best and worst years if you're, yeah. <laughs> year of your life. Um, 
So number one, go to call, not go to college. Um, <laughs> Figure out where you're going to college because college, I know like our school has like college decision day. Mm -hmm. So do that. Prepare. Know where you're going to go. Don't be one of those kids that like a month before senior year is over still doesn't know where they're going to go mm -hmm. to college. I mean, if that's your thing, then that's your thing. But like that would stress me out. Yeah. Like, I knew from like the start of my, from the December of my senior year where I was mm -hmm. going to school. It's also really fun, like with you said, with college decision day, it's really fun to be able to be like, yeah, this is where I'm going to college. Like, yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> um so for number two number two <laughs> number uh, two <laughs> perfect um for number two it's kind of like go to school activities and kind of just it's another chance for you to try new things because this is your like last chance to do things and i know i personally my senior year i wanted to like be more school spirited and go to more school events and support my fellow classmates and it was just more of a I want to be a presence in my school this year. Yeah, I know. Like, we did our a senior play at, that I directed, and my friend also directed it with me. And um, we we had so many kids that, like, did theater for, like, the first time, and they're like, oh, my gosh, we wish we would have done that. So, like, that's, like, earlier when we talked about, like, doing things you, like, want to do. Like, don't let the – and, like, I've had, like, kids in the play, like, they said that, like, their popularity status, like, made them, like, not do plays because, exactly. like, it's not cool. So don't do something because it's not – cool because like theater and like our show choir is like super cool so like mm -hmm. don't wait until you try it um number three is stay driven and let me tell you that senior year senioritis i've probably had since junior year um it's it's really hard to stay driven senior year especially like in the winter yeah. and if you live in iowa we had like like 13 snow days and mm -hmm. like we were done like the seniors were done like two weeks before the other classes or the other grades but um yeah so just make sure you, sorry someone came to the door make sure you guys just like stay driven senior year because it's it's if it's it's just don't fall behind i guess is what i'm trying to say number four <laughs> reach out to teachers for number four <laughs> So number four is to reach out with teachers to like start for looking for college stuff and advice because college is pretty scary and I mean they've survived it already so you might as well start talking to them about how to get yourself ready and what to do to look out for you know the things that are coming your way. Yeah I feel like a lot of people see well a lot of like underclassmen see teachers as like bad and like your senior year you'll be like come like friends with teachers mm -hmm. and like I know I'm friends with teachers, like, still, like, I, yeah. I text, like, I have one teacher, Mr. Orman, I text him all the time about, like, all my life stuff, and it's really cool, um, also, so number five, we have prepare to grow up, like, really make sure you, like, I know it's scary to say, but, like, you're growing up, like, you're gonna be on your mm -hmm. own, most likely, I guess, and if you don't go to college, you're gonna go straight into work, mm -hmm. so, you have to grow up, and you have to, like, stop being a child and acting like a child, and there are definitely people that still act like children. Um, and you just need to learn how to, like, handle situations and, like, I don't know, do the adult things. And so now we're going to talk about, like, an overall high school thing. So I'm going to start off with number one. <laughs> don't. Okay. I'm going to say don't date in high school. But obviously there are relationships that, like, work in high school mm -hmm. and, like, everything's fine. But I know a lot of people that, like, consumed so much of their high school time with, like, dating and worrying about dating people. Mm -hmm. And I did that my sophomore year. And I was like, I have to have a boyfriend because, like, all my friends had boyfriends. And, like, my junior and senior year, like, I just didn't care. And I was just mm -hmm. like, I don't really want to have a boyfriend. And when you don't have a boyfriend, I think that – or, like, girlfriend, I think that you honestly experience more and you get more from your experiences. Mm -hmm. And not to say that you can't, like, have experiences and, like, yeah. have a boyfriend or girlfriend, but I just feel like you enjoy them more because you're not so worried about them. And, like, that's not so much of a And I feel like relatively, I, when I wasn't in a relationship, I was doing better in school than when I was. Oh, for sure. Because I think that I would focus so much of my time on, like, my partner at the time, and then I would be like, oh, school. Yeah, and, like, I mean, some people can, like, do both, and, like, mm -hmm. it's really easy for them, but, like, I'm a type of person, like, when I'm in a relationship, like everything is like about like my whole my time devotes to that relationship yeah. which is really bad but that's just how i am mm -hmm. um so anyway so for number two it's um your gpa matters from like point one and 
like it matters so just don't like go into high school thinking it's going to be the biggest breeze of your life and you can get whatever you want and you're still going to go to some amazing college or straighten the workforce with like a 1.2 a 1.2 <laughs> or something like that like start from your freshman year mm-hmm. you like, have to work really hard and especially like also don't like think you have to get a 4.0 because no you don't have to get a 4.0 to yeah. be intelligent. Mm-hmm. I had a 3.2, and I'm not going to lie, and I got into college just yeah. fine. So, I mean, obviously you could do better than what I did. Like, freshman year was really rough, and I I know after my freshman year I started with a 3.4. Yeah. And then I after that I spent all my other years building myself back up, and I did finish with a 3.7, but I stressed myself out so much that I don't feel like I experienced high school in the way that you should. So, yeah, just that's true. And our last... One is they kind of go like, well, I guess another separate. So uh, four is you're going to lose friends. Um, I have went through about four different friend groups Mm -hmm. in the court. I mean, I've had like people like Maddie that have like stayed consistent, but like I have lost friends Mm -hmm. and don't think it's you because it's just like, honestly, like my, in my opinion, I think when you lose friends, especially going into like junior year is when I lost friends, I think that I was just more mature than my friends. Mm -hmm. And so you lose friends and then they'll go be with their like immature friends and you'll be like with upperclassmen and like, as you grow up, you'll just find who you like Mm want to be friends with. And you'll also let go of friendships because you realize that they're like toxic and they're just not good for you. So like, just don't be upset if you lose friends because you'll get more. Sometimes you are the problem, though, and when you are, you gotta figure that out. Like, yeah, admit when you have a problem. Yeah, when, when you have a problem, you gotta you gotta know that you're the problem. <laughs> um, you wanna do the last one? Our final mm. one for overall high school. Yeah. Try new things. Always like high school is just one big like experiment, basically. So the more you're willing to put yourself out there, and the more you're willing to try new things the more you're gonna get out of high school and the more you're probably gonna like it um high school like in conclusion high school is not terrible it's not great it's really not great (laughs) but as long as you like do well in school like honestly another thing that i feel like i we didn't mention that i just thought about Mm -hmm. is do your home like if you're given class time to do your homework Mm -hmm. do it because i'm gonna tell you right now that i would not do it and i'd sit on my phone especially if you take comp if you know like what comp is and you take it if you don't do your like comp paragraphs in class and you you're not going to do it at home you're really not because you're going to like go to football games especially because you take comp your senior year so like you're gonna go like doing all the senior year things like graduation everything and you're just not gonna think about comp Mm -hmm. and it's not gonna be or any class in general gonna be your focus so do it in class or else you're not gonna do it at all and that was me do your homework (laughs) do your homework that's a good one 100 percent do your homework if like i have so i know so many people they just failed classes because they didn't do homework which is mm-hmm. so dumb because in most classes especially like math and honestly like i didn't have much homework in high school like yeah you really like it's not like you see on tvs where it's like you have books and books of homework and i guess it depends on what classes yeah. you take but i still don't think anyone has like that much homework yeah i mean i took what uh ap chemistry which is supposed to be like one of the hardest classes that our school offered and it still was like yeah, sometimes it was a lot of homework, but, I mean, if you really put the time into it, it wasn't as much as you thought it was. Yeah. Like, so, anyway, just enjoy high school um, because getting ready for college mm-hmm. sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it actually sucks. Um, I can't give you a college advice video because, obviously, I'm not yeah. in college yet. So, But thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you want to see us do... I don't know. Whatever you want to see us do. <laughs> we could do, like, a college dorm hall. Like, talk about what we're getting for college. Or, like, we could, after our first month of college, we could do, like, an update video. Yes. So, if you, we're going to start. Oh, also, I'm going to start a series on my channel where I try different foods from different fast food places. Because I put a thing on my Snapchat the other day. And so many people were like, you should do this. Like, you should make more videos. And I was like, you know what? Let me just put them <laughs> on my channel. So, that's what I'm going to do. And this video is kind of long. It's, like, 20 minutes long. So I really hope everyone stayed till the end. Um, I hope you like. If you liked or agreed with anything, just give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. 